Welcome back, Survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Surviving the Aftermath. And I have good news, and I have bad news, and I have upsetness, and questions, and thoughts. So, I was getting on this morning, just about ready to record, and I just released my videos a little bit ago. Had some breakfast, you know, that type of thing, and I got a message, got a comment. Went and read it, and apparently there is a planned update coming at some point this week. And I was like, no. I was like, is it a joke? And then I went, checked my Steam. I didn't see an update at the moment when I went to record this. But I saw in my news feed a big surviving aftermath roadmap thing. And I clicked on it, and sure enough, there is an update scheduled for this week. So, I'm not 100% sure what all the update's going to entail. They're calling it the bronze update. Now, I went to the little roadmap thing, and they didn't show a whole lot. They literally, it was like, it was a handful of pictures. It showed what appeared to be the bronze update a silver update, a gold update, and what I would assume to be either a diamond or platinum update um, is what is what it looked like. You didn't actually, you know, list what the other ones were. They just had different colors, and, you know, I'm just using what they gave me to go from there. But, you know, there's supposed to be several updates throughout the year. Uh, well, I don't know if they go beyond the year, but at least for this year. And... I don't know if they're going to break the game. So that's the big that's the big thing right now. Um luckily, I don't have like 2 weeks worth of videos recorded beforehand, but there is supposed to be an update and as of right now, the plan is to ride through the update, see what works, what doesn't work. Now, the question I have for all y'all watching is if there are features that break the game or that don't incorporate into the current game, do y'all want me to go ahead and start over? As of right now, this is, what, episode 5? So, technically, we're still early on in the game, and... You know, I'm willing to restart if y'all want me to restart. If the updates are enough to warrant the restart. Or would you rather just say, nah, we'll just go with it. So, keep that in mind. As we go through the game, as the updates pop up. And, you know, we'll just kind of continue on with what we got at the moment. But be sure to let me know what you would like to see. Would you like to see a restart? Or would you like to see a continuation of what we got? Because really, the only thing that I'm testing out or playing in this one is the increased difficulty, the different uh, tech tree selection, and the milestones. Um, which, you know, I'm a little disappointed in the milestones. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I kind of... I kind of had a... A, oh, what do we want to call it? Um, I thought it was going to be more like, uh, oh, what is that game? Um, a New Dawn? I think that's what it is. Where when you finish a set of milestones, it goes into like a cutscene. A schema uh, not a schematic, but a, a cinematic view of like your village and, you know, so forth. And I thought it was going to do something like that, but we finished all of the new beginnings and it literally did nothing so as of right now they add up to points we're not getting special rewards we're not unlocking new things um it's really just more or less a point system to brag uh at this point so i'm not I'm not super concerned about whether or not we uh, achieve all of the milestones. I mean, yes, it would be nice, but, you know, if we played for three weeks and I died and I didn't finish, like, 
two or three of the milestones, I don't think that would be enough for me to say, hey, I'm going to go back and do it again. So, just giving everybody a fair warning, fair heads up. I like new content. I like it to stay fresh, and I don't want it to ever get old, so I don't want to overplay it. And that's part of the reason why I gave it a little bit of time in between this playthrough and the last playthrough was I didn't want... Uh, Okay, that's a deer. Um, I didn't want it to become too stale and all that. So I was really I was really hoping I was going to catch an update before we started the playthrough. But that just didn't happen. We literally missed it by like a week. Which is unfortunate. It really is. What is this? Oh, that dude's hungry. Okay. So, with all that being said, now we've got to focus on our colony... Which, at the moment, we're not doing too well. We've got hungry people. Uh, we've got crops. But, let's see. Those are growing. These are growing. And those are growing. So, it seems like we've been hit with back-to-back -back, uh, catastrophes. And, unfortunately, each one of these catastrophes that's hit us has kind of reset our crop fields, and we haven't really been able to benefit that much from them. Um, so, yeah, that's that's unfortunately a thing. Now, I want to see... So, if I add in more people, it will... Yeah, but we just don't have... We don't have enough carriers. That is the big problem, is I need carriers... Did we already shoot the deer that were down here? I think we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we harvested all those. Okay, hold on. Let me go back here. Let me go into the living beings thing. Uh, yeah, we kind of did, didn't we? Hmm. Okay, well... I guess we'll get this uh, get this food and we're going to go try to take on something. Uh, that's a couple pieces of food for everybody. Yeah, there's a fierce mouse. We'll go take on this fierce mouse real fast. Speed that up. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. Where did the body go? We need to make sure we harvest that thing. No, I know we shot it, but we're... Really? I don't see its body. Um... Hmm. Hold on. No, no, no. no. Get... Why did that... See, they should have one for listed, like, dead animal or, like, food resource or something so that I can see where that mouse is. Because are they, are my guys carrying anything? Walking. Walking. And walking. So, yeah, they murdered it, but they literally did not harvest the mouse. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. There's the meat symbol, but where is... Is it? Oh, I bet you it's underneath these planks. Okay, hang on. We'll pull these planks out real fast and then we'll see if we can't find this thing. Because I think, yes, I think there it is. That's very unfortunate. I got starving people over here, and y'all are worried about the uh, the rat carcasses and stuff. Or, no, the, the planks, because you can't reach the rat carcass. Yeah, bring back that rat meat. Wow, that's all it brought was seven food? That's not much. That is not much at all. Um...
I'm gonna have him go ahead and get these berries. You know, at this rate, we might not have to worry about it. We might die before <laughs> before the update even happens. Uh, who's out here doing things? You're out here doing things. What do you got going? All wolf gang members are either dead or have fled the area. The camp is now ready to be pillaged before heading to the final one. 14 antibiotics and 20 med kits. Very nice. Go ahead and you know what? Your scavenging is only 50%, but we need food. You need to grab that food first. I was really hoping we were going to get a food bonus from that quest, but no. We didn't. Come on, food grow. Man, we need... I need things. I need peoples. Uh, what do we got here? Recycler. Lumberyard. Logging camp. That one does the firewood. I think we're good on firewood for a minute. I do. We're at like 300 something. Y'all just back off of that. Y'all become dudes. Yes, survivors. I was just saying we need a group of survivors to come in to help us. Uh, and they bring in 23 firewood. Two tools, two superior tools. 14 antibiotics and two shotguns. Three adults, one elder, three children. And they bring in Dom. I think that's what her name is. Dom or Dame. I don't know. Uh, poverty, war, sickness, loss. She witnessed and fought through it all. Decades of hardship have ground her into a single tough and fearless woman. She sees death as nothing more than an old friend. One who knows better than to try and lay a hand on her. So basically we have Carol from The Walking Dead. Right? Yes, no, maybe. That's kind of what I'm sensing here is Carol from The Walking Dead. So she is a fighter. She does 25 damage a day. Yeah, we'll take her. We will take her. That is awesome. And uh, you know what? I'm going to send her straight out to the map. So I want you to head this way. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's see, they are still picking berries, so that's good. Growing 80%, 93%. Okay, so this corn is about to be finished, and they'll start harvesting corn. Good. I want to increase my fish people, too, while we have a couple people standing around. 29 a day. I think that's what that is. I mean, it says 7, but it says... Oh, no, now it says 32. Huh. I don't know. Maybe they're being efficient. Who knows? Who really knows? Specialist is ready. Makita, can you get this beef jerky without killing yourself? Because it would be super awesome if you could... Build a warehouse. Do we not have a warehouse? I thought we had a warehouse. Um, where, oh, where, oh, where do we want to put it? I could put it right here. But that's kind of away from everything. I could put it right here. That, well, that would take off part of that road. You know what? Let's put it right here. I think that's where I want it. Yeah, let's put it up here by the fields. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Don't make that a dirt road. They're going to. I already know they're going to. All right. Yes, you keep doing that. Um, now, I would like 
I really, really would like it if I could do another fishing pier. Ew. Mm. I'd have to do it right there. Which isn't too bad. And we'll eventually get a road over there to it. But yeah, I'm thinking we're gonna have to we're gonna have to survive off of fish for quite a while. Um, as soon as we can. In fact, I think we can go ahead and do that right now. Yes, ice fishing. We need to go ahead and unlock the ice fishing so that we can get that upgrade so that people can have things. What do we got here? That is our planks. Um yeah, help cut out some of those trees please you see a group of bandits can we just like pretend no one's home maybe possibly the bandits are carrying weapons and donning armor which leaves no doubt of their intention the leader of the group a man whose companions even dare not look at steps forward nice sweet place got any extra stuff there for us humble wastelanders uh, we can give them some resources. We can tell them to take it. Both of my fighters are out right now. That's the problem. So I guess we're just going to give them some silver. The leader shakes his head. That's all. No, nah, I think we'll come and check things out ourselves. Much easier that way, you see. So they're going to fight regardless. Yay, we won. And yay, all of our stuff is like on fire. Okay. Well, at least we're getting a little bit of food here. We got 32 corn, 13 fish, and we got two venison. Yay, venison. You're still not done. All right, well. Looks like we're doing all right, I think, maybe. Food's going up, up to 75. That's not too bad. Hopefully, the increase in fishing will help boost that. Ice fishing is complete. What does it take to upgrade these to ice fishing? 25 wood, 25 of that, and 15 of those. Uh, do we have 15... Fiber, yes, we do have 15 fiber. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that bad boy. And I'm going to upgrade this one just so that in winter we can have both. Burial pit is full. Wow, we have lots of dead people. Uh, I guess we're going to have to make another one. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll put that one there. Yay. Alright. Oh, of course. Let's see. There you go. Bring yourself back. And you are still fighting. Okay. Yeah, we're still okay with the logging. 
I do think that, yeah, we're going to have to put a new burner in up here at some point. Let's go ahead and work towards that burner. Here we go, one burner. Um, can I put it? Yeah, we're going to have to put it like right here, I think. Yeah, we'll put it right there. That will at least cover the camp and the tent and, you know, our new, our little fishing huts and stuff up here. That will at least keep all that covered during a nuclear winter, so. Very nice. Oh, we got to add people back to it after doing that? That's stupid. <laughs> Just going to be honest, that's a little stupid that we have to re-add our people. They should automatically be reassigned. Okay. Well, we're growing. Uh, let's see. Let's do some more research. Let's do... Yeah, let's do the skinning. Let's go ahead and get that one done so that we can get a little bit extra fiber coming in. Where is our trapper? Which one was the trapper? Taylor, scrapper, recycler. That's maintenance. I know he had a trapper. Right ah, there's the trapper right there. Uh, yeah, still at 100%. Okay, not bad. Specialist is ready. All right, all the Wolfgang hideouts have been cleared and burned to the ground. The rewards are not as massive as you maybe thought, probably since the gang likes to move around a lot instead of hoarding everything in one place. Still, every little bit helps the colony. 12 tools, 60 metal, and 520 silver. Excellent. Bring it on home, Dom. Or Dame. Y'all gonna have to tell me, what is that? Is that Dom or is that Dame? Because I'm gonna probably mispronounce it and call her the wrong thing for the entire series if I don't actually know what it is. I'm unfamiliar with that name. Down to 44 food. That's okay, because Makita is about to be back, I think. Uh, the recycler finished that one. Okay. There's more plastic right there. Go ahead and just slide on over. Let's see. You are down there. Yeah, let's move your work area. Where is a patch of berries? Patch berries right there. Skinning is complete. Okay, let's come back in here. Let's see. So line cooks. Oh, it gives an additional slot to the cookhouse. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so that's good, but that's going to require... Uh, that's going to require oil, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to... Yeah, it's oil and uh, firewood to do that one. So, I'm going to hold off there. Let's see, we can do the aqua farm. We can do animal husbandry. That one's kind of expensive. But it's very nice. Uh, reclaimed materials. Trash evaluation. Or we can go into heavy tarps. That would give us better better stuff for our tents right now. I don't know. I don't know if heavy tarps... It, it, or if we should just try to get... Well, no, because it's going to be a while before we can get up to the shanty. Yeah, so heavy tarps is probably something we want. So, what is this? Pavement? Caesars and Pharaohs figured stone paved roads were the way to bring a bit of civilization to a settlement and keep their sandals clean. Faster movement on paved roads. Have I always had paved roads? I mean, 
That's not a that's not like a special thing, right? No, 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 because roof supports is special. Okay, no, I was looking at the colors. No, no, no. So we had the paved roads before. What does roof supports do? Oh, that gives those uh, the shanties and the tenements a durability. Oh, that's cool. Rigid chassis that gives vehicles an extra action point. Okay, I like that. Panel coating. Ah, so yeah, so this one gives like a lots of durability benefits to our our colony. So that's what we're getting out of out of that one. Okay, that's cool though. So anytime our stuff is you know forty percent more durable, I mean that's you know. I'm not going to argue with that. How many do we have? Yeah, we still have plenty of shelter space. Looking good there. Crops, we're at 128. Where's our crops at? Uh, those are growing. Those are growing, and those are, I guess those just got harvested. Yeah, those just got harvested. Okay. Traders at the gate. Let's see what happens. Small caravan of traders arrives at the gate. However, their, arm, their armored outfits, painted faces, and ample weaponry remind you more of raiders than any traders you've ever seen. Greetings, ladies and gents. We uh, wondered if you'd like to take a gander at our mighty fine stock right here. One of them says, opens the crate. You see blood and ash all around the wares, as well as some meat, which you cannot recognize. So I could trade with them and get tools, which we really need. We would miss out on a couple of med kits, but our colony would be not happy. I say we stay with the happiness. The man spits at the ground, shooting down a disgusting droplet of saliva, mucus, and blood. Bunch of do-gooders. Fine, we'll take our prime stock elsewhere then. The group turns around. The man takes one final look at you and yells, Pansies, despite the lost opportunity, your people seem happy with your choice. You know, I'm almost on the fence about whether or not they should tell you that you gain or lose happiness on some of your choices. Because part of me says, if you didn't know, you might make a different decision. Or at least most people would, I think. Alright, so we got the heavy tarps. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do the rem er, remembrance. I want to get the education so we can get the kids going on the buses. A little school bus house thing. So, but anyway, guys, I think that is probably just about it for, uh, for today's video. I am liking where we're at. We are in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I don't think we're in too bad of a spot right here. So, we got us an extra specialist today. We got our colony a little bit stronger, a little bit more secure, as at least on food. The upgraded fishing piers and the second fishing pier and new burner in place. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're looking all right. So, we'll just keep on going. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all. For all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.